Oh my god! Yo, what's going on guys? It's Revive here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty. Uh, just a little bit of things. I'm going to be talking about some of the things I don't like about this game, and I'm going to keep it real short because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, and by the way, I hope you enjoy that clip. It was pretty crazy. My reaction was pretty funny. So, uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to kind of sum uh, summarize it down, and I'm going to get on the main points of this game that I really kind of don't like. So, uh, let's get right into it, guys. All right, now the first thing is the creative class system. Though I do like the division system, I don't necessarily like the actual creative class system. The one where you actually pick your gun and stuff like that. I feel like it's a little too simple, and the fact that we only have one basic training, although they serve a dual purpose, is still kind of a waste. I wish we did have the pick 10 system, and we're at least able to have two basic trainings, maybe three, you know, just kind of the regular creative class system. I do like the division system, though, but I will talk about some of the things I like of Call of Duty in a later video. Uh, but yeah, this is, these are just some of the things I kind of don't like about this game. And it's simply that. The creative class system is a little too simple, and it's pretty easy to make a class. I wish it, they had it to where you can take more time to actually create a class, because at the end of the day, it's kind of what Call of Duty was back in the day. Taking time, setting up your class to get that ultimate god class, if you will. Another thing is the XP system. Now, we do have double XP, and uh, it's going pretty great. I think in this game, I actually got like 20,000 XP, and I mean, I, I kind of expected I'd drop like 50-something kills. So, um, but without double XP, um, it takes forever to level up in this game. And that's a problem. Usually, the grind should be hard. You should be able to grind this game out, but not too hard like you do in this game. Without double XP, it feels like in one game of TDM, doing good which is like what 20 and 10 is the average you know kill or whatever um you'll only get like 6,000 xp which is pretty lame compared to other call of duties where going 20 and 10 will at least get you you know 9,000 xp which is still not a lot but i mean it's way better than what this is uh than the system here so i feel like it should be fixed honestly with double xp it feels nice and really you feel a difference but i wish the double xp was kind of the normal xp that you would get um, without actually double without actual double XP. So if that didn't make any sense, I'm sorry, but in a nutshell, I wish double XP was around forever. Another thing is the map design. Uh, though the maps look pretty cool, some of these maps just don't play very well. Now, Gridiron on Point to Hawk is pretty hectic, and it's because uh, Point to Hawk is such a small map. There's so many corners. You know, it's crazy. It, it, it's very it's very crazy. So. Some of these maps just don't really play well with certain modes. They're not very versatile like Black Ops 2. I think Black Ops 2 maps design was pretty good because they played well with every single game. Domination, Hardpoint, Kill Confirmed, you know, Search and Destroy, all that stuff. But I feel like the maps here do lack a bit. They don't really play as well with all the game modes. I think they play decent with TDM. But when it comes to Domination, Search, I, I feel like only certain maps play well and not all of them. So that just kind of goes to show that the maps really just aren't that good. They look cool, but I don't know, they, they, they lack, they, they're not, I don't see any of these being a fan favorite, and there are way too many corners to check, especially on this map. You know, there's a lot of camping spots, although they do have multiple entry points, which kind of, you know, slows the camping down, but there's always that one room that's in an overpowered spot where everyone camps. Now, though this is something Sledgehammer claims that they have the best of, I have to kind of disagree because some of these maps have some terrible spawns. And it's not that the spawns are terrible to where it's like you will spawn behind an enemy, although it has happened in some rare cases for some people. I'm talking about where when spawns switch. There's some maps where the spawns just don't switch at all. For example, USS Texas and Gibraltar. It's pretty hard to flip those spawns. And that's just because those maps, I don't know what's wrong with the spawn system in those maps, but it's, you know, it's kind of bad now. This is Gridiron, so the spawns are kind of fixed, really. So it's pretty easy to spawn trap. Um, so it, it's understandable here, but if you play point to hawk on TDM, flipping spawns is pretty easy, honestly. As soon as one person gets into the other team's spawn, that's when they'll flip, and it'll pretty much prevent spawn trapping. So, like I said, are they the best spawns? No. I think Sledgehammer was kind of, you know, wrong for saying that they have the best spawns out of any Call of Duty game, because honestly, every Call of Duty game has some wonky spawns. That's just the honest truth. Now, I haven't really experienced this problem, but it is something that I hear a lot of, so I am putting it in this video because I haven't experienced it a lot, but I have had some moments of bad hit detection. Now, hit detection I've always thought was terrible in every Call of Duty, to be honest. I never thought there was a game with good hit detection. You know, I always thought they were the same. So, 
For me, I've never really minded it, but in this game, I do find some gunfights to be inconsistent. Um, I, I feel like that's just any Call of Duty though. And like I said, I really haven't experienced it too much, but I am gonna ho go ahead and put in this video because even some of my friends have said the hit detection is pretty bad and uh, this and that. So I'm also putting in this video to just kind of, you know, get some awareness to see if it's true. Now, like I said, I haven't experienced it before. And really in this game, I wasn't really thinking about hit detection. Most of the times where I died is because either, you know, I wasn't looking, I wasn't paying attention, my reaction was slow, or, you know, they just clearly got me. So um, I don't know. Hit detection is, is, for me, I don't see it too much. I haven't experienced it too much. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm still putting it in this video because like I said, it is something many people have said is wrong with this game. So that's why I'm putting it in this video. Another thing is snipers and shotguns. In this game, I feel like they are pretty overpowered, especially the bar actually. I should put the bar in too. I just remembered it looking at the gameplay, but I mean, the bar is something that I don't think they're ever gonna fix. But what is fixable is the incendiary rounds for shotguns and sniper ADS time for the car nine and the M1908. Now, here's my problem with the snipers. We're gonna start there. Those two snipers that I just mentioned, the car and the M19, they aim in, both aim in pretty quick and they are pretty much a guarantee one shot, one kill. Now, that's cool, but when you start to compare it to the other bow action sniper, the Lee Enfield, which aims in super slow, and most of the time with my experience with my experience with that gun, I get hit markers most of the time. So, what I'm saying is this, it should be the other way around. Kind of like Black Ops 2 snipers. Uh, you know, if you remember the DSR aimed in pretty slow, but it was a pretty powerful shot and pretty much got a one shot, one kill almost all the time. As for the ballista, you know, it aimed in pretty quick, but as long as you hit waist up, you were not gonna get a one shot, one kill. I think that same, those same principles should be implemented in this game with snipers. The car nine and the M19 should be a one shot, one kill waist up, and that's fine if they aim fast. Or, you know, and, and actually, not or, and the Lee Enfield should be a one shot, one kill pretty much guarantee if it's going to aim in slow so i mean i don't know it, it, the snipers i don't use them too much but i do feel like the ads time on some snipers are pretty overpowered or pretty fast and that's what makes them seem as if they're overpowered and really sniping in this game is pretty easy so you know if you're really good with snipers already you're just even more overpowered and as for shotguns it's the incendiary rounds that are more overpowered they just have a crazy range the damage is okay it's just the range on those guns that is immense it's 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 super much it's, it's a lot of damage so or a lot of range i should say so the range should be fixed with the incendiary shells and as for the lack of content that we have this is one of my biggest things i hate about this game and it's the last one really um i just don't like that we don't have a lot of content i feel like nine maps is not enough and really i know i'm not the only one that feels that and the fact that all of these nine maps aren't even super good they're okay you know they're playable they play okay you know but they're not even that all that you know compared to other call of duty maps you know the maps are they're okay and um we only get nine of them that's pretty crappy in my opinion so uh you know i the the content that we don't that we lack is is pretty crazy so let me also break it down besides the map besides maps we don't have too many attachments now it's understandable that you know we are limited we are in world war ii but i mean i still would have liked to seen some fast mags you know in there you know small super small stuff you know that that kind of can make a difference you know uh and, and honestly, the players are not rewarded a lot for a lot of the actions. So if you get verified, you only get a blue triangle. When you meet, reach massive prestige, you only get very few things. When you get a V2 rocket, you get nothing but a V2 rocket. It doesn't even count how many V2 rockets you get. So there's still a lot of content and missed opportunities in this game that could really make a difference and keep the player base higher than what it is now. I think the player base is pretty high, but it has dropped down since launch. And that's mostly because of all the problems this game has had, bugs, and not to, not to mention the launch. The launch was pretty terrible for this game as well. But yes, missed opportunities, lack of content, um, you know, all that stuff. And I mean, the lack of guns is pretty much because of supply drops. They're gonna push supply drops. I think this was a no-brainer. I'm not surprised, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of supply drops, and I think we're all not fans of supply drops, to be honest. So, um, you know, I don't know. This game just lacks a lot of content to, in a nutshell. But I mean, really guys, those are some of the things I don't like about Call of Duty World War II. If I miss some, definitely leave a comment down below in the in the comments, uh, and then I'll probably reply and we can talk about that as well. But I mean, those are some of the things that just came up to mind. Now, I didn't want the video to be too long, and I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it's going to be like 11 minutes long, so that's a good thing. Uh, I will have some of the good things I like about Call of Duty probably tomorrow. It'll be up tomorrow. If not, it'll be up later tonight. Um, so, you know, I, I do think this is a great game. I do like the game. It does need some work though, and I think that's something we can all agree on. It's boots on the ground, it's fast paced, it's pretty fun, 
there's just small things uh, that need to be fixed like i said the snipers you know maybe give us a little bit more content for free without the actual supply drop stuff because that's kind of what's killing the game you know in general but i mean you know guys i hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay um you know just go ahead and go subscribe guys by the way if you don't know if we can get by 100 subscribers by the end of february you know by the end of february which is like what the 28th 27th 28th you know I'll, I'll plan some sort of giveaway so definitely share this with your friends all that good stuff you know just share it out there you know uh but yeah go ahead and like the video guys subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you guys in the next video and i hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay and you're probably also going to see the full reaction of that crazy fury kill i get so uh hope you enjoy that too yeah